our title for our exhortation for tonight is your action will determine who you are. Our text is found in Acts chapter 11 verses 22 to 24. How core values affected your lifestyle? If any early church leader could be called servant, it is Barnabas. He took initiative and did what it took to raise morale. He knows how to encourage people. About men, he victoriously win many souls for the Lord or even money. He sold his properties and gave all the money to the apostles. He led with clarity an example by becoming a servant. He considered a task or he considered no task to his small. Kay Barnabas po, lahat ng bagay mahalaga kahit maliit, importante sa kanya. What allowed Barnabas to demonstrate such a lifestyle? The secret is in the core values he believes in life. There are three core values in his life. Number one, start with the letter A. Acknowledge humility in your life. And Acts 11 verse 22 said, The news of these things came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem. And they sent out Barnabas to go as far as Antioch. With all humility, Barnabas is ready for God's disposal. He is willing to be sent alone without murmuring and complaining. He traveled three countries from Phoenicia to Cyprus to Cyprus and to Antioch. Barnabas didn't have to play games. He never sought the limelight. I remember when he mentored Paul. He happily let the emerging apostle rise above him. Barnabas didn't feel the need to project his self-worth or prove himself to anyone. Sinusunod niya yung prinsipyo ni John the Baptist. Let Christ be increased and I must be decreased. Number two, core values of Barnabas. Start with the letter C. Commit your life to God alone. In Acts 11 verse 23, it says, When he came and had seen the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all that with a purpose of heart, they should continue with the Lord. You know, the, the secret of success is no other than God alone. We have so many commitments that leads us to failure. Knows your priority. 
It is not your family. It is not your partner. It is not your job. It is not money, not pain, not position. It must be God alone. He is our priority. Barnabas didn't maintain a facades or image. He remained authentic, vulnerable, and transparent. He could rejoice with others' victories. The same text, Acts 11.23 And never wondered about his own pain. Hindi malaga kay Barnabas na siya ang sumikat. Ang malaga makatulong siya sa tao. Ang malaga, matupad niya ang gawain para sa Diyos. Ang malaga, mauuna ang Panginoon higit sa lahat. Number three, core values. Start with the letter T. Trust the power of the Holy Spirit. For he was a good, a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And a great many people were added to the Lord. Barnabas did not have to guard his reputation or fear that he would lose popularity. He came to serve, not to be served. This enabled him to focus on giving, not getting. As a servant, he had no rights to lose. He fully depended on the power of the Holy Spirit. Kaya madalas po tayong nag-aaway, O ang tao nag-aaway dahil puro karapatan ang inuuna. He fully dependent on the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will make us more than conquerors. He that is in us is greater than any spirit in this world. According to 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. Barnabas believed in an audience of one and that audience is God alone. We must do all things as we are working it not for man but for God alone. Challenge What leads Barnabas to a victorious living? The secret is in Acts 11 verse 19. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned to the Lord. It was God who leads us to victory. Praise His name forevermore. Amen.